Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery. 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. We've had a lot of videos today, and we brought it up on every one. Why? Because vets, I love you. You have a place here. Don't fight this fight alone. There will be links in the description. If you're struggling and you need help, please reach out to those folks, but know that you're welcome here. We back the blue. We support corrections, wildlife, guys on the street, FBI, CIA. We support Leo. How do you do that, Scab? We don't break the damn law. And finally, if you're an addict, never quit quitting. Well, this is five months in the damn making. The Medford Praetorian T in S90V. I'm going to take a minute right here and just show you some good looks. We got a five-inch titanium handle. My blade is like four inches. I mean, it was like three and three quarters from the tip back to the, where the handle kind of points uh, some deep fullers but i'm going to say it's a four inch blade it's an inch and three quarters or no inch and five eighths wide i believe uh, you see the edge bevel there uh, if you don't know much about medford go ahead and look up uh, one of greg's videos greg medford owns it he is a uh, former a marine so if you're if you're a former marine you're a marine you're a marine you're a marine things quarter inch thick it's super duper thick now let me say this greg is a wild man but he takes a lot of pride in this knife captain electro gave me this knife y'all seen the unboxing i teared up all that i've not put off um, the review of this knife for any reason other than i wanted to carry it every day i have i wanted to use it every day I have. You see the tip's a little worn there. I will never in my damn life apologize for owning a knife, especially when I own the knife for using a knife. If there's a knife made that ever goes on a shelf, let me know and I'll send that some bit straight back to you or I won't buy it. I always put the hashtag we use ours. So I put five months of using this knife and guys, I am a solid, solid believer in Medford knives. Uh, I mentioned it's S90V on the blade still. Now, S90V is not easy to sharpen, but once you get that edge on there, edge retention, like I said earlier, uh, I believe it's Bladeworks, uh, uh, Backyard Samurai, Ken had sent me several uh, links where I could look up the different steels. This is a premium steel. Now, here's one thing that I, it, it said toughness like a three, but I can tell you, in these five months of using it every day, and in everyday stuff, I told y'all, on this channel, you're going to see normal everyday activity. We're not going to hit the damn thing with a hammer or a pocket knife anyway. You know, some of our fixed blades, we put through some brutal testing. But a folder is a folder is a folder. So this is normal everyday use. Do I chop every day? Well, it's old scab, son. I chop something every day. But there's no damage to the edge. The edge retention has maintained very well. The only thing I did for this video, honest to God, is strop it a few times. You've seen it blow through that paper, razor sharp. It This knife chopped better than I thought it would. And y'all see that big wide blade right there is built for slicing. Now, I've told y'all a million times, we're not a normal knife channel. We never will be. I'm not going to get into the technical term and breaking this thing apart and doing all that. I watched one of Greg's videos before I filmed this one just to get some insight. And, and the man's a wild man, but I, I love his videos. I love his company. And they their tolerances, they go out to uh, four decibel points. Now, right here, y'all see this is that old toe strap that I keep in the back of El Diablo. It's some rough stuff. But just a couple quick cuts right here. No problem for the med for, again. That big wide, look at that, that big wide blade just gets it done, son. Like I said, strop it, I take care of it. Now, uh, when I was done with this video, I, I watched another video, or I watched a video several months ago on how to clean one up. You used dish soap, some water, washed it down, used a blow dryer, blew it off, a dab of uh, mineral oil, I mean, just about half a dab. Just Actually, I seen Greg use some WD-40. But I used just a smidgen of, of, of mineral oil, and not even enough to put on my finger, and, and rubbed it all down. And so it's clean and ready to go. Now, y'all see how this thing is just shredding. Very, very, I love all knives. And somebody, and I've said this a million times, people say, Scab, is there a knife you don't like? And y'all know the answer. 
yeah the ones you don't see on my channel if I don't like something I'm not gonna review it why because it's my knife kennel that's why now I wanted to take my time with this one Captain Electric, let me say this. I've said it publicly, man. I've sent you man, Thank you so much. This is just awesome. All the gifts that I get are phenomenal. But, dude, to, to, for you just to come out of pocket and give me this, this dude, thank you so much. Now, right here, here is that uh, fiber optic cable. Big wide blade coming into play here. The handle is very comfortable, guys. It's a frame lock. It's got a badass glass breaker on the back or, or noggin knocker or whatever you want to call it on, on the handle. Um, I didn't feel like the need to show it. It's got some pretty, I, I don't know if you'd call it jimping on the top. Uh, I'm going to call it jimping. It's pretty aggressive jimping. Um, but the knife overall is very, very comfortable. And I like the way they've done the handles on on this Medford it's like when you squeeze the knife yes it's a frame lock but when you get a it's like they made one side a little longer than the other so when you get a grip in there you're really locking that knife in you're locking the blade in um, like I said they've got super tight tolerances but you see how you see the grip I got there that knife ain't coming undone that knife is totally safe uh, ain't no telling what in the hell I'm doing right here Sometimes I don't know even after I'm done. Oh, yeah, push cut and went right. No other knife has done that. The knife is very well balanced. A little scab slinging around here, son. I like little Lord Fauntleroy with my shirt going on there. Now, here's the uh, five hour energy drink test. We shave it. You say, Scab, what does that do? We'll go get you a five hour energy drink, whip out your pocket knife, and do this right here. You can tell pretty quick. If you got a sharp knife or not and this one is we got the right angle got in there and just went to war son i want to say this this isn't one of my super long videos it don't have to be son this knife right here no we're not going to talk about price point no none of the other crap I, I there's nothing i can do about that like i said i'm blessed to have this knife it is a gift if you have one if you can get one let me just say this do I recommend absolutely? Now, again, I'm not gonna have a knife I don't use. I, I just I ain't gonna do it because the first time you give me a knife, say, "Good, can't use this knife." I'm gonna go out there and cut something with it. Why? Because if I get in a spot, and I've been in a couple spots, you know, I may have needed a knife or two. Uh, not the spots you really want to be in, but you want to know it works. Does this knife work? you damn right it works it's a good one um i'm excited about it we've cut all kind of stuff right here we cut water hoses plastic bottles wood i was really impressed we're gonna do the donnie b all day drop test pretty good drops right here now the times that it didn't stick is not the nice fault because it is well balanced um it's more I've got to get that edge home or that tip home back up. That's my I've just used this thing, used this thing, used this thing. Some good hard downward throws. And again, I probably didn't hit the best that's uh, red oak from West Virginia. But you see it handles well. It's easy in hand. Here old scab looking at it. Looking lean, mean. And this is why I don't wear button up shirts, guys. Look like baby Huey standing over there. Now Y'all see the purple handkerchief? That's for my boy E. God rest your soul, E. Won't be long, we'll come up on a year. I can't believe that. Now, we did some light feather sticking. This is just an old, uh, I think one or two by six or something like that. But y'all see again, after all the, all the chopping, all the hacking, all the stuff, we're still getting good long slices out of it. Well guys, listen, I wanted to do this as kind of an introductory you see how it fits there? Looking good, Scab. It's kind of an introduction to this knife because there will be, we're going to do a little head to head with the cold steel Formax. Looking forward to doing that. So I wanted just to give y'all, get y'all ready for it, give you a base overview of this knife. Well, guys, listen, my guy Mikey says it best. Everything is going to be all right. Well, I'm Scab. You're not. It's the Medford, and I'm gone, son. <laughs>